But first, let's get to this. What's happening in Dade City? It is opening Friday, going on through for the next several weeks and months here in Florida. But yes, snow right here in the Tampa Bay area. It's called Snow Cat Ridge. How much fun does that look like? <laughs> <laughs> Winston is now joining us to tell us all the details. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Can you Whoa. tell we're a little excited about this? Just a yeah, little bit? I, I'm stoked. I can't wait. This thing has been like five years plus in the making, and we're finally <laughs> opening the, on, on Friday. And people are going to be able, Floridians are going to be able to like experience real snow in the outdoors while snow tubing, which is something I haven't grown up in Florida. I never went snow tubing, snow tubing until I went to like Michigan. So I didn't realize how fun it was. And then that, it is like one of the most fun things you can do for the winter time. And uh, we're bringing it uh, to Central Florida, Dade City. Real snow, real fun. It's going to be a blast. Okay. So have you heard, are people traveling from all over the state to this? Yeah, I actually, I did a, uh, I, I answered an email from somebody, someone from Ecuador is even coming out. So like we're, it's people are coming from all over to come experience snow in, in the, the most likely state in the world, Florida, you know, and uh uh, it's going to be awesome. We have three different attractions for guests to, you know, uh, interact with and have a good time. And there's a little bit of something for everybody. Okay. I'm kind of getting, uh, I want to ask wardrobe because I'm seeing some yeah. winter coats. I'm seeing the hats. I actually got rid of a lot of stuff when I moved to Florida from Ohio. Yeah. Is it still the temperatures that you feel? Because I remember trying to sled and I couldn't even move because I had such a big snow suit on. <laughs> You know, and you have yeah, this kind of thing going on. <laughs> Do we need to recreate this, or are we okay? Uh, maybe dressing a little, little less layers. It's a little bit of a personal preference, but what we're telling people is you definitely want to uh, wear layers, which is, might be a foreign concept to some Floridians. But uh, <laughs> wear layers, and and because you, as you arrive, you may start a little chilly because you know this is real snow. Real snow is cold and wet and mm -hmm. slippery. Uh, so start with layers, and as you kind of play, you may get a, you may warm up a little bit. So you'll take uh, you'll take your uh, different layers off and kind of whatever comfortable uh, state you want to be in. Okay, so how does this this work? Because as you walk in, and there's like snow areas, and then there's uh -huh. the actual snow. T I mean, and obviously we still need to make sure we're keeping distance and and safely doing this. So yeah. how can you make a guest feel comfortable that way? Well, you know, the majority of the park is completely outdoors. So there's, okay. and, you know, there's ample room for social distancing. And uh, when you walk into the park, there's a big, massive area, which is called our Alpine Village. It's where all our food and drinks are, as well as our holiday market, where you can buy all sorts of like artisan goods from local vendors. Perfect for like, you know, the holiday times for gift giving. And then pretty much the, the main event is the, is the large outdoor 400 foot long, 60 foot tall snow hill. Uh, we, we like to joke that it's like the highest point in Florida. It's probably not, but, uh, <laughs> you know, we, we, we created, uh, one of the only hills in Florida. And then, so when you want to do that, you'll take up, uh, you'll go up to the top of the hill on a, on a magic carpet system. Cause something a lot of Floridians may not understand is that walking up and down a hill uh, a lot, uh, is quite tiring because we don't have a lot of, uh, elevation experience oh, here. Yeah. So you'll take all of it to the top and you slide down in either a single tandem or a family style tubing, whichever you, how big your group is. And you, you'll be able to do that for two hours with your general admission or uh, as all day with your with the unlimited ticket. I, I did not have that at my local reservoir. I had to hike up and down. And we would go <laughs> it's hard. And very much appreciated. It's definitely hard, especially, you know, when, you know, in the snow, it's not easy to trudge no. up a hill, no matter how it's like, no. so it's a going to the gym, you know, and then put your layers on and you get the yeah. waddle down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, uh, so you'll, you'll fly down. And then, uh, then last we have the Arctic Igloo, which is an inside dome, uh, where you can build, build snowmen, which is probably a first in Florida. Yeah, and we also have a, a bunny slope in there for uh, guests who are not quite tall enough for the big hill. Or what about wimps? Because I'm a little like my husband jokes that I'm allergic to adrenaline. So tell me yeah. about this drop <laughs> and this, you know, this mm -hmm. slide and how fast it goes. Like, what it, are we talking pretty, age age wise? Uh, well, the, there are no age requirements. Uh, the, the height is about 42 inches um, for to ride down the big hill. I will say, uh, I, I you know. Um, I'm I'm a bit I like roller coasters and stuff like that, but I hate drops and I love the hill. Okay, so that's me. That's a, okay. Yeah. So the it's, drop it's isn't not, too too it, bad. No, it's fast. It's definitely faster than you think it's going to be, and uh, there's a little bit of a drop in the beginning uh, just to get so you get speed, but it's definitely um, not. An, it looks it's it's impressive in size, but once you get onto it, you'll you'll be all right. 
So we're getting ready to wrap here. And I'm just really curious, as far as the snow goes and being able to keep it cold, being yeah. able to keep up those, how are you able sure. to do that? Like, do we need to hope for cooler temperatures for you or it has nothing to do with the temperature outside? The temperature has a small amount to do with it, uh, but we, through all of the research that we've done, these parks exist in climates that are similar to Florida's. And so we know that this will work because, uh, you know, we wouldn't have built it if it wasn't going to work. Uh, but to explain how to keep everything cool, it's really technical. And if I could explain it to you well, I wouldn't be in marketing. I would probably be an engineer. Uh, but we just like to say it's a little bit of technology and a lot of magic. Oh, okay. Well, how do you get tickets? What's the best way to, to make sure you can get a spot as we close here? Definitely want to do it online ahead of time because uh, certain time slots are selling out. Uh, we are open every day in December, but just go to snowcatridge.com and you can pick your, your the date, your time slot, and you'll be good to go. Oh, good stuff. Thank you so much for joining us, Winston. This is really cool this year. I hope this is something that becomes a tradition for many families. Take care, okay? Bye-bye.